What up, you guys? Today, I'm going to teach you a simple yet powerful manifestation technique shared by Neville Goddard that you can do in the morning. In fact, I highly recommend you do this every morning. You know what I'm saying? Because not only will it impact your day, but I'm telling you, once you try this, it'll literally change your life. Seriously. And you'll probably ask yourself, man, why did I do this sooner? Here's a backstory to this method. You see, both of Neville Goddard's parents were born very poor and they had nothing. They did end up having 12 kids though. Now that's something. But unfortunately, two died at birth, which is sad, while 10 of them survived. Again, the dad had nothing. As Neville puts it, he started behind the eight ball because he had himself, Neville's mother, the grandmother, and 10 kids to still feed. So it wasn't easy for him. How the dad got a hold of this, Neville doesn't even know. But check this out. The first time the dad heard Neville speak in New York City was a Sunday morning. And when they went back to the apartment, the dad said to Neville, you know, everything you said this morning is true. But why do you tell people to close their eyes? Don't close your eyes. Keep them partly shut. You can control your imagination and you can control your attention better if the eyes aren't completely closed. When you see me in the morning after breakfast reclining in my chair, you might think I'm just sleeping it off. Side note, the dad was a heavy drinker. He's like, I'm not sleeping off anything. I'm doing my day's work then. He said, I bring before my mind's eye the men I want to deal with that day, and I control the conversation. I tell them exactly what I want to tell them as though it were true. I let them tell me, confirm that it's true. And then when I'm completely satisfied with my inner conversation, then I go to town. And it works that way. Did you get that? Neville's dad didn't try to predict his day, okay? And neither did he hope that his day goes well, which is what a lot of people do. Nah, dude, he created it. He created his day exactly the way he wanted it to be. How is that even possible? Because he knew the secret, which is what? That what you experience in your imagination first, listen, will be objectified. It'll be objectified. And some of you here that are like, Josh, I don't experience everything I see in my head. That's where people misunderstand this. Folks, it's not about passively seeing something in your head like watching a movie. But it's about really experiencing something in your imagination, feeling its reality. Because when you feel it, yo, what does it imply? That you're in it. You're in that state of consciousness. And whatever state you're in, that's what manifests. You get it? Now, I know the question on people's minds is, how long should you do this? And I kind of answered it already. Notice that dad said he'd have these inner conversations until when? until he was satisfied. There was a feeling, a knowingness that it was already done. And then he'd go about his day. As for the dad's results of doing this morning routine, shoot, when he died, he died in 1959 at the age of 85. This once poor man, this guy who had nothing, was able to leave a family of 10 independently wealthy. Each, not just collectively. Boom, this thinking works, you guys. I've done it countless times where I'd wake up, then bam, bam, bam. I'll imagine several things and nail them before getting out of bed. Everyday things like interactions with people, getting specific seats at certain places, things I want to have, you name it. You can do this with anything. So try this tomorrow before starting your day. Don't just worry and let things happen. Because believe it or not, you'll see the fruit of that worry. Remember, your imagination, whether good or bad, creates your reality. You are the operant power. So know what you want and imagine your ideal day. Assume it. What would the conversations be like based on that assumption? What would you say? Who would you talk to? And then have those who hear you confirm that what you're saying is true. And just keep looping it over and over again. And then here's what's going to happen. As you carry on these imaginal acts in the morning, these inner conversations to the point of naturalness, then it's done. It's already yours. And you'll see the fruit of your imagination, the evidence of it, guaranteed. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It helps support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work. And of course, I'll spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. 
Links in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.